Hi, I'm Danielle from Life is a Party, and today I want to teach you how to connect cursive letters in Cricut Design Space if they're not connected. So we have some text here, and you can see that there are spaces between the letters, and if we hit make it right now, this would cut out as individual letters that aren't connected. So how do we fix that problem? You want to select your whole um, phrase and then you can use letter spacing at the top of the text edit menu here and just use these little arrows to adjust the spacing and move the individual letters together so that the script joins up. Now every time you click this button it's going to move the letters an equal amount and you can see here on the screen that the L is now overlapping life and we want there to be a gap there. So how do we fix that problem? Well with the whole word still selected we're going to go up to the advanced setting on the text um, edit screen and then we're going to choose ungroup to letters and then these will be individual letters which you can see here in the layers panel and I'm able to click on a letter like the L and then adjust it. A tip I have for you though is instead of using your mouse to do the adjustment use your arrow key on your keyboard and then you won't be um, accidentally moving it down and out of line with the rest of the text. So I think that looks pretty good now. So you might think you're ready to cut this out now, but if I hit make it at this stage, you will see that it's still going to cut out as individual letters. So what we have to do to get it to cut out as connected words is weld it all together. So I've selected it all and then the weld is down here at the bottom of the layers panel. I'll click on weld and now you can see that in the layers panel we have the weld result. It's all welded together and if we click make it now you can see now it's going to cut out as connected words for the fonts that were connected. So that's exactly what we want. Remember when you're working with weld, there is no unweld button. So if you decide that you want to work with this again and not have it welded, the only way to unweld is to click the undo button and then it will take you back. But if you've gone out of the project and saved it, then you can't use undo. So remember with weld that it's permanent unless you're able to use the undo button. When you're working with cursive letters that aren't connected, you can use either the line spacing or go into advanced settings and use the ungroup letters. I like to use them both in combination, so I usually start by adjusting the letter spacing and then I will ungroup the letters to do some fine tuning on the word. What if you want to curve your text? Well, you can see that you can use the curve function here. So let's go ahead and curve our text. And once you have curved it, you can still use the letter spacing function. So you can make some fine adjustments using letter spacing. But if there's very specific things, like for this one, the L again is overlapping the I, once you have it all how you want it in terms of the curve, then you can go to advanced and ungroup the letters. And then you'll be able to move individual letters. But you can only use the curve function before you ungroup to letters. So you can't get your word perfect in terms of spacing and then curve it afterwards. You have to do it first. 
And then don't forget, once it's all how you want it to be, to select all and use the weld function again so that they will cut out as solid words instead of individual letters.